we are talking about the worst kind of disgusting neo-Nazi, racist and anti-refugee vitriol. Many more than a hundred pictures of criminal content were shared. I can't give you exact figures as the story is developing. They included pictures of Hitler, swastikas and the war flag of Imperial Germany. But there were even more abhorrent pictures, like a fictional depiction of a refugee in a gas chamber in a concentration camp, or a despicable depiction of people with black skin being shot. Well, Ulrich Bruckner is a political scientist who specializes in European integration. He joins us now live from Athens. Thanks so much for being with us. You know, Germany has spent decades making any sort of sympathy, really, toward Hitler, something to be deeply, deeply ashamed of. Uh, but in the last four years or so, I mean, there seems to be less shame now involved in, in sympathizing with the far right and even with white supremacy. What's changed? Well, I think on the one hand, we came a long way in achieving what the federal constitution claims, that human dignity is of utmost importance and police officers and everyone in the country who works for the state of Germany is in charge of protecting this. While at the same time, with rising populism, with right-wing populist movements, and also a different tolerance for um, hate speech and whatever you can also find outside Germany, it seems as if their sense of humor, as if this disgusting attitude can be called became something that was unthinkable some years ago. Right. I mean, you mentioned, you know, forces as well outside of Germany. I mean, do you feel that kind of the rise maybe of, you know, Donald Trump in the United States has taken away some of the embarrassment that Germans used to feel uh, if they had far-right sentiments? Well, it is not so much about the symbols as such. This is just bad taste and it's clearly banned and it's a crime in Germany to show swastikas or Hitler pictures or anything that has to do with him. What is very terrible and disgusting is the way they treat human beings. We came a long way to become a pluralist, multicultural society and Germany clearly benefits from its rich diversity if you only look at our football team, we won the title in 2014 with a very culturally diverse team. And now we undermine the credibility of police forces who have to protect people in their diversity by presenting their worldviews and their views of human beings in the way it was seen in these chats. Right. Why do you think this is existing within the police force? Or, I mean, do you think it's just, you know, a, a tiny... Uh, isolated segment of policemen, or could there be, you know, a wider problem here among the police forces in Germany? Well, everyone would wish it is an isolated case, and if you have a group of 50,000 police officers in North Rhine-Westphalia only, then there will be some rotten apples in the big basket. But on the one hand, Germany is under special observation when it comes to everything right-wing, and on the other hand, I think it is not just a single isolated case, because as it has been said before, Hessen and Bavaria showed similar cases with networks of anti-Muslim or anti-migrant jokes or hate speech from within the authority. Maybe they think that if they express the monopoly of power representing the state, anything authoritarian works better than the liberal version of the constitution. But that needs a closer investigation, and the Minister of the Interior is pushed to have exactly a report presented to investigate this more closely. You know, as some have said, actually, that efforts to stamp out those far-right tendencies uh, could have even gone too far, you know, by, in a way, sacrificing some of Germans' self-esteem uh, to make sure what happened in the past was never repeated, by making them so ashamed of their past, even if they had nothing to do with it, that it could have caused a backlash. Do you think there's any truth to that? I don't think so, because this is the most... I'm speechless when it comes to this crime against humanity that happened in Nazi Germany. And this is an open wound that should stay open forever. And every new generation has to go through everything that it comes with. So that makes the country 
a different country compared with others. And this is something that needs to be addressed immediately without any tolerance within the police or whatever state forces in Germany. Ulrich Bruckner joining us there. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your analysis. We appreciate it.